Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, the pilot weighs 150 pounds and uh, is traveling at a constant speed of 120 feet per second. Determine the normal force he, exert, he, he exerts on the seat of the plane when he is upside down at A. The loop has a radius of curvature of 400 feet. So I added one part also here where I said uh, repeat the same process or also determine the same at B. Alright, uh, this problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics of 14th edition by RSC Ibella. So let's start. So I'm going to call case 1. Uh, I have two cases, so I would say uh, normal force. Uh, normal force at, at A. Okay, so this is the first case we just want to compare. So let's draw the free body diagram. What do we have? Again, we are dealing with the pilot here who has a mass. This pilot has a mass of, um, I mean, yes, he has a mass and hence exerting a weight, the weight of W. And uh, the seat be exerting a normal force on him. The seat will be exerting a normal force on him of this much of uh, n okay so he the pilot will be exerting a force on the seat and the seat will be exerting a normal force on him through the which will have the same magnitude then let's call this one as our let's call this one as our uh this is our n coordinate okay this is our n coordinate all right so let's apply the equations of emo uh, motion the equation of motion so say summation of uh, forces the acceleration let it be in this direction okay centripetal force which is m a n all right so summation of forces in the n axis will just be equal to going down for this case going down in our reference is just equal to m a n where our a n is uh the centripetal acceleration and is equal to uh v squared divided by rho and our rho here is given is equal to uh, 400 feet so let's write down the equations so what do we have we have uh, w plus n equal to uh, m uh, a n okay and therefore uh, w uh, w is equal to 150 all right and our m is equal to 150 divided by uh, the acceleration to, due to gravity which is 32.2 so this therefore becomes equal to this just becomes equal to 150 uh, let's make n subject of formula so n here just becomes equal to m v squared divided by rho uh, minus w and this is equal to 150 divided by 32.2 okay our uh, our v our v is equal to uh 120 so this is just 120 squared and since our v is a uh, constant a speed we expect the tangential acceleration to be equal to zero all right so this divided by rho which is equal to um 400 then minus the weight which is 115 therefore so our normal force here becomes N A equal to uh, 150 divided by 32.2 times 120 squared 
divided by 400 minus 150. So this becomes a 17.70 17 uh, pounds, right? Okay, let's go to case two. Let's go to case two, we're repeating the same process, only that this time around the aircraft is at B. So we are looking for the normal force that the pilot exits on the seat while the plane is at B. Alright. So let's draw the free body diagram. What do we have? The weight of the pilot will be going down like this. Um, the normal force exerted on the pilot will be going up. Okay. And then we do have this particular coordinate, which is our end coordinate. Okay. So this is our N. Uh, this is our NB. And um, this is our W, which is constant, doesn't change. All right. And then we are going to change our coordinate for this. Doesn't really affect anything. My acceleration, I'll assume it in this direction. Okay. There we go. Let's apply the equation of motion. So we have summation of forces. In the n axis going up, just in our reference in this case, this is equal to m a n like so. Uh, where our a n, which is our centripetal acceleration, is equal to v squared divided by rho. So, what do we have here? We have our n b minus w equal to uh, m. Uh, n making n b subject of the formula this just gives us m v squared divided by rho plus w and this is just equal to uh, 150 divided by uh, 32.2 times 120 squared divided by uh, 400 and then plus uh, the weight therefore nb which is the normal force exerted on the seat by the pilot when the aircraft or when the aircraft is at b nb is just going to be equal to 150 divided by 32.2 times 120 squared divided by 400 plus 150 so we have a 317 point seven zero pounds all right so we decided to just one add one part here to just do the comparison so we have the normal force at a and we have the normal force at b okay so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast